Hey gang, Dennis Tubergen here. It's Friday, April 6, 2018. I'm here with another market analysis for you. Today I want to share with you uh, kind of how I go through and just analyze markets and share with you just a few of my most reliable chart formations and favorite indicators. I like to look at markets from a, a, a number of different perspectives. So if I were to, for example, uh, click on this chart, which is a weekly chart of an exchange-traded fund that tracks the Dow Jones Industrial Average. The symbol is DIA. And I were to show you a monthly chart, you can really put this into perspective very, very quickly. You can see that on a monthly basis, uh, here's the market bottom after the financial crisis. Prices have been contained in an upward price trend channel. Uh, they've been that way really up until uh, last year, uh, October. They then broke out, and then we see that they've now pulled back to the top trend line of the price channel. Often when you see that breakout on a long-term chart, that's uh, an exhaustion move. It means the trend is moving to an end. Also, if you take a look at uh, the MACD indicator at the bottom here, you see that on a monthly basis, we see that stocks have been ticking down here. Um, you really saw from the market bottom that as you plot this histogram, uh, they went up really from the market bottom, which occurred here in March of 2009, and they really didn't peak uh, until uh, quite a while later. Uh, we saw this really uh, almost a year later. So we had 12 months of just a very strong uptrend. Slight pullback and the uptrend continued again. So these ticks on a MACD on a monthly chart can be very telling as to the direction of the market. Now if I go back and look at the market in a, sh a little bit shorter time frame, I'm looking at weekly, you see we have the same formation here. However, even though the overall trend is down on Mac, according to MACD on a monthly chart, on a weekly chart, we see that we might start seeing some ticks up here. And you see the same exhaustion gap up out of that price trend channel. Uh, but if I look here, this is what we call potentially a lizard bottom. And, and basically, we saw prices drop to here. But then we saw a rally back to here this week. So that tells me that we could see potentially a little bit of a counter trend bounce here. But when you look at the trend on the monthly chart, the trend is definitely down. Now, if I go look at a daily chart, and uh, those of you that have been uh, watching the market analysis updates every day, you see that here um, a couple days ago, I said we have an engulfing pattern. And often you see an engulfing pattern where you have a solid candlestick, which means prices opened here, prices closed here, and they completely engulfed the prices from the prior day, you see a move up. Now, yesterday I said when we saw a move up, a gap up in the chart, often that gap is closed, and that happened already today. Um, market action shows that this gap is closing. Um, so when, when you take a look at this, you have to assume if the overall trend on the monthly chart is now down, the weekly chart shows that we could get a little bit of a bounce here. And on the daily chart, it looks like we're getting a little bit of that bounce and, and maybe a bit of a pullback. So the overall trend has to be down. Uh, whenever you see on a daily chart prices pull back to uh, the Bollinger Band here, um, it's, a, it's a good bet that you're going to see a bounce. However, if you're trading, you always want to trade in the direction of the primary trend. And the best way to determine the primary trend is look at the market in a, in a big time frame. Uh, some traders prefer to look at the market in a weekly uh, time frame. Um, I prefer to look at it in a monthly time frame. And at this point, uh, I am trading in the overall trend direction here, which is down. So hopefully that's helpful. Uh, that's today's market analysis. I'm Dennis Tubergen. It's Friday, April 6th.